welcome this is Pete with PM designs in this video I'm going to show you how you can uh, quote unquote merge two textures together um, two image textures or you could do it two shaders it will work fine with both um, just we're just going to use texture paint to create a um, a mask I'm just going to add a just a cylinder just for the purposes of this this is our new t tree trunk okay <laughs> not very good but I'm just going to add in um, I've got a bark texture which I downloaded using the blender kit library and as you can see it's a bit of a, a mess over here so now what I want to do is I want to add in my other texture I need a new principal BSDF I need to add a mix shader Oops. mix shader which is going to go between these two and then I need to add an image, an image texture, or you know this could be your other shader running into here. I'm just going to find the moss that I downloaded. My mouse is dying. Uh, I've got this moss here, and just plug that into the color. Also, if you download these, these um, I think people call them PBRs. I think that's technically wrong, though. If you download these textures. They also come with like sometimes they come with roughness and a bump as well. So I could I could plug all of that into here too, but I'm not going to do that now. Just keep it quick. Um, so right, so I've got this mix shader which is currently just combining the two um, textures somewhere in the middle. And so what I need to do is I'm going to use my I'm going to use texture paint to control the factor. So I need to add in another image texture, which I'm going to up here for now I'm going to plug the color into the factor there's nothing going to happen at the moment because there's nothing here I'm going to pop into texture paint mode um, and I'm going to just go I've got texture paint set up over here um, you would need to unwrap this to get it over here I've already done that I'm going to create a new image and call it bark moss texture you could adjust the size here as well um, you know to be like 4k if you wanted to or whatever I'm just going to do that and it will come up black. I need to save that first before I go on. I'm going to save that as bark moss texture. Actually, no, I'll save it again because I don't know if that's going to overwrite my something else. Um, wait. Moss bark. Thanks. Whatever. Epics. That'll do. Save that. So now I'll pop back to the shading um, panel and I find that uh, texture that I just made called Moss Park Texture. Alright, can't find it. <laughs> I'm just going to use this one. What's going to happen now? Okay, good. So, alright, I'm going to change this one back to then to the Bark Moss Texture that I just selected, which is now not here. Bark Moss Texture, 001, wasn't it? So now with this mask, it just works in black and white. So wherever I paint in white is going to adjust what I get on the mask. Oh, and by the way, I've, I've set up it so I've got a cloud texture, so it doesn't just like paint in solid colors. Um, you can just do that by getting one over here. Just go um, new texture, actually, and then you, you'll come up with image here and just click clouds. So now you can see it's starting to paint that moss, make, making the moss appear, basically. And also I can just paint directly on here like that but that's a bit too but I just want to just get the north facing side or whatever something like that so yeah, there you go and so that way you can merge two textures together exactly where you want them to be merged so if you had uh, a character who had mud on their skin you could paint the mud on you could have a texture of mud mix it you know add that into your um, you know, into your shader so here would be the character skin texture and then you make your mud shader and then you just use your texture paint to control the factor of how much it goes in so yeah I've, I've found that pretty useful recently when I was combining two layers for the ground and if you find it useful please drop a like thanks very much